كل الحب والتقدير نلتقي في اسبوع جديد مع فقرات حواريه جديده First of all dear viewers welcome to your show good evening Kuwait this is your host Abd Aziz Darwish and with all love and appreciation we're meeting you on Sunday at the beginning of the week with multiple interview segments as my colleague said that I have non Arabic speaker daily segment here in live stream from the KTV1 the main channel والان مشاهدينا الكرام نبدا اول فقراتنا من البرنامج مع فقرتنا لغير الناطقين باللغه العربيه ويسرنا نلتقي عبر الفيس تايم مع دانيكا جالورا من جمهورية الفلبين الصديقة وهي تعمل ممرضة. First of all, our guest, welcome to our show. Good evening, Kuwait. Hi, good evening. And you are most welcome, and thank you so much for accepting our Hello. invitation to be with us in the show. First of all, our guest, uh, Danika, what did you do in this pandemic? Uh, thank you for that wonderful question. First, first of all, I want to thank for inviting me here. For having me here tonight. Um, during this pandemic, I keep I'm keeping myself aware of the precautionary measures as per Ministry of Health guidelines. And as a nurse, I am extending my knowledge to educate our patients of the precautionary measures to avoid from being infected from the disease. While assisting patients, I make sure that I am fully equipped by wearing a complete PPE attire to avoid being exposed. I also follow the strict compliance of the Ministry of Health, such as following the curfew hours and the other precautionary okay. measures provided by the, by the Ministry of Health to the public. That's all, thank you. You are most welcome and thank you very much for sharing this information for everyone who's watching us through the KTV1, especially in this live stream. سؤالي للضيفة كان ماذا فعلت في هذه الجائحة وأجابت أنها طبقت الإجراءات الاحترازية للوقاية من مرض الكورونا بالإضافة من خلال المسؤولية الاجتماعية فنا حرصت على توعية الجالية الفلبينية للوقاية من our virus. Now let's speak more about our beloved country, state of Kuwait. So how do you see the precautions and procedures in the state of Kuwait to contain the Virus. Um, speaking of the precautions procedures, well, the precautions that they did and made was outstanding. From lockdown, limiting of establishment to open, implementation of curfew all over Kuwait, and the cooperation of residents and citizens with regards to the restrictions of Kuwait government. With this, we are gratified to stay in Kuwait. Kuwait government, Ministry of Health, for their efforts and dedication in fighting this pandemic. And we are thankful, especially to their highness, Crown Prince and citizens of Kuwait, for their efforts to contain the disease. Thank you. You're most welcome, and we are very appreciate your efforts and everyone who's working in the first line. سؤالي للضيفة كان كيف ترين الإجراءات والاحترازات التي اتخذتها دولة الكويت لاحتواء المرض وأجابت أنها أثنت وشكرت جهو دولة الكويت وعلى رأسي حضرة صاحب السمو أمير البلاد الشيخ صباح الأحمد الجابر الصباح حفظ الله ورعاه وسمو ولي العهد الشيخ نواف الأحمد الجابر الصباح حفظ الله ورعاه والحكومة الحكومة الكويتية وش Let's talk more about our guest, about the citizens and resident. How do you see their medical commitment on this crisis? Oh, what a wonderful question. Of course, citizens and residents are working together to contain the disease and they're applying the five important precautionary measures. Proper hygiene from the Ministry of Health that must not be taken for granted. Such as first, wearing of mask. Second, always practice social distancing. Third, washing of hands frequently, then using alcohol or sanitizer all the time. And most importantly, staying at home if there's no important things to do outside. Thank you. You are most welcome. And let me translate for our dear viewers who are watching us through the KTV1 on this live stream. سؤالي للضيفة كان ما رأيك في التزام المواطنين والمقيمين في الإجراءات الصحية؟ وأجابت أن كل المواطنين والمقيمين يعملون يدا بيد للاحتواء من المرض. Now our guest Danika, it's time for our important question. Can you send a message in your own language in Tagalog? Um, message to everybody. Um. 
para po sa mga kababayan ko, especially dito sa Kuwait, sa lahat ng mga Pilipino na panatilihin po natin sundin ang mga batas na pinapatupad ng pamahalaan at kanilang mga alituntunin. Kilala po tayo mga Pilipino na masunurin at alam po natin at alam ko po na lahat ay nasa, nasa matinding pagsubok ngayon ng ating mga buhay. Kaya bilang, bilang isang frontliner or nurse, nakikita ko po yung hirap na mga taong um, nakakaramdam or na, nakaka-experience ng, ng, ng ganitong sakit. Manatili po tayong sumunod sa, sumunod sa mga palatuntunin ng pamahalaan. Magkapit bisig lang po tayo, wag tayong wag tayong bumitaw. Pagsubok lamang to. Kapit bisig tayong lumaban at wag tayong titigil dahil alam ko po um, with God na rin is impossible. So, um wag tayong mawala ng pag-asa at laban lang tayo sa hamon ng buhay. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very much and salama. Thank you very much for being with us today. Kanat ma'ana Danika Galora min Jumhuriyat Filipin al-Sadiq aw ya ta'amal mumarrida wa kana mulakhas al-laqa' azza' al-mushahidin yaduru hawla madha fa'alat fi hadhihi al-jaha bil idhafa lil ajra'at wal ihtirazat alati tatakhadatha dawlat al-Kuwait lil wuqaya min al-marad wa bil akhir wajahat risala bi lughat al-Tagalog an al-wuqaya min hadha al-marad. Wa al-an mushahidin al-karam wasalna ma'akum lil nihayat faqrat ghayr al-natiqin bi lughat al-Arabiya wa 